One of the most important developments is under uh, President Lyndon Johnson. Johnson brings the speech into prime time. And this allows the address to be given directly to the American people. This dramatically increases the number of people who are paying attention to the State of the Union address, as you might imagine, right? Now, the first televised State of the Union occurred in 1947 after over 20 years of, of radio coverage. And Calvin Coolidge was, we, popular, we popularly remember FDR as the president who really <coughs> harnessed radio, but it really was Coolidge to begin with, to harness that new technology. And his uh, presidency was the first to use radio quite effectively. Franklin Roosevelt was... Uh, even more effective and certainly the context uh, had changed dramatically during his presidency. Roosevelt is also the first to call this the State of the Union. Uh, it had been called the Annual Address, uh, but Roosevelt is the first to popularize that term uh, every year. Harry Truman is the first to appear on television to deliver the State of the Union. Those technological advances started to make the speech less of an address to the Congress and more of an address to the American people from the Congress. The House of Representatives becomes in many ways a really cool television set for presidents to directly address the American people which is a very different interpretation of the State of the Union than what we find in the Constitution and what early presidents expected. 